Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Amy and I'm Beck, and our channel is all about health, beauty and lifestyle in case you guys are new here. But today we are going to be doing a little March roundup of some of our favorite things that we've acquired over the past few months since our last favorites video. We and don't acquire a lot. Yeah. So I feel like most of the things are like things we've thought about a lot, consciously purchased and like, you know, there are a few things that didn't make the list. So these are the things that we actually have thought been good. Enjoyed. I don't think there's going to be any particular order. They're all kind of random lifestyle-y things. Mm. Is there anything you want to kick off with? I feel like these salt shakers are making a difference. <laughs> this is very random, guys. If um, you're into cooking, though, this is like important. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but when you have salt and pepper grinders, they leave like this puddle of mess. Mm. Salt, pepper everywhere, all the time. You bring them to the dining table, they leave a little mess. Where you keep them, there's always a little mess. I bought this for Amy for Christmas, because she had it on her wish list. Mm -hmm. And then it was like a big sale on the kitchen warehouse website they had these for like half so off these ones and are just two different brands even though they look kind of like they have a similar, similar feel these ones are by the brand menu so you can find it in like the pink shades they're super cute i feel like because they're so cute the colors they kind of become a bit of a centerpiece of the kitchen yeah and we didn't even mention the reason we like these is they grind from the top they grind from the top guys <laughs> so they don't sit down and make the mess you have to turn it upside down and grind and then you turn it back and it doesn't these are like a plasticky material because i found that like a silicone grippy feel so i don't know what i expected when i saw these online but in person i was like oh right okay it's like a, it's still a plasticky mm. kind of feel which is not necessarily a problem as i said i don't really know what i expected they kind of look like they'd be almost like ceramic don't they but yeah and i think the listing actually says ceramic but when they talk about it being ceramic it's actually the internal workings of the grinder is ceramic but yeah they're super beautiful yeah. very pretty in your kitchen they are ungodly expensive yeah so that's <laughs> why when these were like half off i thought oh i have to get them because i have a nice set from la Crusade, which cost a lot too but you know sometimes you get to a point where you're wiping out the same mess you're having the same problem and you again. just have to fix the problem um, well i was actually just really surprised that there aren't that many grinders in this sort of style like a lot of them come in the one that sits upside down like that mm. which who wants that i'm already making a mess who wants that and i don't think i mentioned the brand of this set is Joseph Joseph and I think they also do like a black and grey I really like Amy's but I feel like in my kitchen I have like a very country style everything is unmatching in like a matching way and yeah. for some reason blue just made more color sense. so that's our first one maybe I will follow with another sort of kitcheny item so you guys know I'm obsessed with ceramics and these are my latest bowls I actually got them for my birthday as a late birthday present last year but I've been using them a lot throughout the beginning of this year they're super duper cute the artist's name was Pettigrew ceramics so these were also really cheap for mm. ceramics which is you know a lot of the time for ceramic where it's like 50 60 dollars for a bowl or more these were quite affordable and I love this little speckle design if you're into like Instagramming of food or trying to make like like everything look aesthetic. Um, I feel like having a few nice little bowls really makes a big difference. I've been loving these ones and it's like a really nice size like for like a salad or yeah brunch. like I do a lot of salads, burrito bowls, all kinds of stuff in these little bowls. My next item is the Humble Beeswax Candle. I can't quite remember the brand of this one because it was a gift as well but I will pop it in the description below but we're obsessed with the beeswax candles at the moment. I'm trying to get better with actually transitioning into nighttime in the evening like because I have candles I have fairy lights but I often forget to turn them on and when you turn everything on when you light some candles it's like such it's, it's more of a mood you know like I just have to stop being lazy and I have to start actually doing the nighttime transition because it makes like cooking dinner really nice the thing about beeswax candles specifically too is that they're not toxic like regular candles they don't have a whole bunch of nasty perfumes and fragrances candle people don't come for me I know that people love the fragrances and they like their house to smell like caramel and vanilla mm. but the problem is that a lot of those perfumes I'm gonna say flavorings <laughs> a lot of those perfumes can be toxic and you don't want to be breathing that in all the time also being mindful of like your pets and stuff so beeswax candles 
unscented are my favorite thing and I feel like the light that they give off is really nice as well but yeah I like these big ones so I've got some tiny ones at home but these like they last very long the tiny ones only last for like four hours so they're like a short yeah, burn but these ones a bit dearer the small ones yeah oh yeah oh beeswax in general yeah. I feel like they are mm. um, so they are gonna be more pricey but if you can get like a really nice big chunky candle this is gonna last us for ages moving into some more beauty related stuff this one's i don't want to say boring but it's sunscreen guys it's but not necessary it's not boring but necessary it's not as exciting as the makeup and whatnot but i discovered these sunscreens i got sunburnt basically <laughs> and then i needed to go on a quest to find something that was really good for wearing at the beach that was going to be like heavy duty good zinc sunblock the only thing is i'm not sure that there's something you can buy overseas or whether this is an australian only product i believe i could be wrong they're made at the mornington peninsula i have three so they're called sun Butter. What I like about them is you can actually get every last bit of this sunblock out because I am sick to death of like small tubes where you lose like the end of it. You lose like 20% and like my husband like James will just use like the whole tube in one trip to the beach and then <laughs> I'm cutting it open trying to get the last bits out. Yeah. And it just feels like such a waste and this is like a really nice tin too like you could reuse it mm. if you wanted. And it's SPF 50? SPF 50. Zinc based. Look the only problem you might have is when you take it to the beach it could get a bit runny in the tin okay i mean it feels like a zinc sunblock this yeah. is definitely something you'd wear to the beach it's four hours water resistant but i i like how it rubs in like it's not too white it doesn't look like super so I've got, zinky yeah so i've got the white one i really quite liked it so i tried the tinted looks dark but i think can suit even really light skin tones james always gets sunblock like all caught through his beard <laughs> On his face. And the white sunblock just looks so bad. So I thought I'll get the tinted one. I would probably quite like to wear it on my face as well when we're at the beach. Because I often will just wear like my normal daily sunblock. Mm. But I kind of feel like that's not enough because if you do go for a dip in the water, your normal daily sunblock is not generally water resistant. It gives you like a slight tan. It gives you a slight tan. <laughs> But it's not like orange or crazy. Yeah. So this is the hand with the tinted. Bit hard to see. Then I also picked up the Surf Zinc, which is kind of like a blush. That's interesting. It's such a pretty color. I've never seen a zinc like this before. That isn't like, you know, pastel pink or green yeah. or whatever. I just like the idea of like just whacking this on your cheeks for a little bit of extra protection. Sunblock protection blush. And then for kids, obviously, and for your husband, you just like get your nail in there <laughs> and put a big... <laughs> Right, but I don't know, I just thought that was Very nice cute. because I struggle with, I like to have a little bit of makeup on at the beach. Yeah. I'm just one of those people. But you don't want to have a makeup on that's going to not be appropriate for being in the sun and all that yeah. sort of stuff. So you can have a little bit of a tan and a little bit of a blush and it's all that's enough. sun protection and this smells like chocolate. Oh, is it like shea butter or something? It's cocoa butter. Oh. Very clean. So it's very cleanly formulated. You get heaps like of this zinc. I think it was only like 20 bucks and it's made locally like it's made in Australia. So if you guys are in Australia, boxes. some butter. I like it. Keeping on track with makeup, maybe you should do your other okay. one. I have two other makeup things. So I have two eye products. One is the Koza Big Clean Mascara. It's not exactly new. You guys have probably heard a bit about it or looked at it. And the other one is a little eyeshadow from Shantakai. Start with the mascara. Look, I tried this. I, I've had it for a few weeks and I really like how dramatic it is mm. like it definitely gives that like slightly more clumpy lash so if you don't like any clumps you probably might not like it. Are you wearing it right now? I'm wearing it right now. But I think compared to a lot of the natural ones I've tried before, it just has like a bit more drama to it. I find a lot of the natural mascaras are a little bit light on. <sighs> They're a little bit light on and they give more of a fluttery or ethereal look, whereas this is more like your good like clump spider lash, <laughs> like big lash kind of look. Yeah. What does the brush look like? The brush is a natural bristle brush, which I like. Mm. And it has like a slight curve to it. So no like plasticky brush, which is good. The only trouble I'm having with this is smudging, mm -hmm. which is a pretty common thing for me though because I think it's your eye my shape. eye shape and also the fact that when you wear SPF you want to get it up under your eye mm -hmm. and when you like to wear zinc based or mineral based oily they're a little bit more oily so it's like I have to figure that out I have to figure out what's the right product under the eye and then also like maybe a little bit of powder under yeah. the eye to like dry it up I just get smudging like right around here yeah 
but I think it can be remedied. Like honestly, if I was not wearing sunblock or if I was wearing like a La Roche Posay chemical sunblock, I mm. probably wouldn't have this problem. And it's like really hot at the moment too. Like it's finally starting to cool down. Winter like, maybe it'll be very better. sweaty weather. But other than that, I really like it and I think I'll be able to fix the smudging. And the other thing, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but there's a possibility I have. <laughs> um, it's the Shantikai Luminescent Eyeshade and this is the Cheetah called Warm Champagne. I decluttered my eyeshadow collection down to the point where this is all I have, but it was not cheap, I think it was like $80, single colour. But I just, I think it's really good. Like it's that really luminescent, like it's a very complex shade. Like yeah. it's not. And what I like about it is that I am attracted to the pot cream eyeshadows. And I've had lots of them before and I've been really into makeup before. Like I did makeup artistry and everything. <laughs> what I hate about the pots is that no matter what I do, eventually they dry out before I get to use them all. But I like that glossy look that you get from a cream. This is like pretty close and it's a powder. I just find it like a really nice shade, especially like now as a mum, just to like quickly press, like I just use my finger to press the pigment on. Almost can achieve that wet look as you piled on. It was like an expensive little splurge, but I just, I think the packaging is cute. It's like small, it's easy to throw in the makeup bag and it's just completely foolproof. It's got a mirror inside. They come in like quite a few, I think it's like eight or 10 shades and they're just like that really luminescent, almost like wet look, which is really popular at the moment. Next up, we are moving on to nail polish. So we've both been using a few different ones. So I'll just quickly mention these ones, which I'm sure we've said before in a favorites, but still counts. I've been really into these ones by Nourish Life at the moment. I'm actually wearing the white on my nails right now. It's a little bit chipped. I really love the like formulation of these polishes. They're really affordable as well, but the white like I said that it's chipping right now, but in general, it lasts quite a good amount of time. And I also find that it's like somewhat strengthening to your nail. Like mm. I find that when I'm wearing nail polish, like when I'm wearing this nail polish, over time my nails actually grow in better because I don't know, this is somehow like making them more resilient. <laughs> yeah. Is it meant to be more breathable or something like that? Um, maybe. I know that some of their polishes are. This is the gel look one, yeah. so it might be. Have they change the packaging on all of them, or is it just this gel now? I'm not sure. Yeah, because I have it's this really brand, good, but, but I have the like original. Quick dry or something, but do they dry pretty quick? It too? dries pretty quick okay. as well. Because that's what I liked about the other ones I've tried from this brand. They just dry like really quickly. And the other thing is I just really like this shade in general. Like I know that the white out look is nothing new, but at the moment I'm really into it. At first I was a little bit like, oh, is it a thing? Isn't it a thing? Did I look like one of those kids that's done the white out nails in like high school? But I'm liking it. And then another brand that we sort of recently discovered is called By CS. She is an Australian girl out of Western Australia, I think Perth. And I just we really like the shade. Mm. So the one that like originally caught our attention was this one called Taro Milk Tea. It's so, like a pretty spot on lavender and it's not that easy to find a nice lavender. Well, in we like were a, looking for a while trying to find in an that. eco. Oh yeah, in a, a like a 7 free, free type thing. thing. Yeah. How many free is this? 10 free. It's 10 free, but it's like the perfect lilac color. Obviously lilac is a really big deal at the moment. Lilac everything. So we were on the hunt for the right shade of nail polish. <laughs> this one is it. And yeah. the brushes on these are like very nice. perfect. If you're not very good at doing your nails, this thing is like, it's shaped perfectly. It's so easy to get really close up to your cuticle. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like a very good quality brush. It's tapered. Yeah. It gets the right amount of nail polish. I've never had more perfect nails in my life than after using like that brand. Yeah. And I also, I bought three shades. I'm not so sure about this light blue. Maybe I'll like it more during winter, but I did quite like this one too. It's called Olive U, but it's sort of like an, it's like an olive color. It's like an off white, but pulling more of a green. And I think it's really pretty. Mm. I'd like to try more from her brand though, cause she's got quite a few. Yeah, I also have this, I don't know what you'd call this. It's like a electric-y blue sort of color. I haven't actually used it yet. So that's how new it is, but it also looks very nice. They've got a lot of nice trendy colors. And she has like quite a lot of nail art type supplies as well. If you're into that stuff. Little brushes and yeah. decals and dotting tools and she's like got the nail all art. the nail art stuff. So I'd like to do some nail art to be honest. <laughs> so my last 
I'll say my last two items, which are kind of random, are glasses, because I got new glasses recently. They're a little bit dirty right now, which is um, not great for showing people. But I mean, I don't know how relevant this is to other people in terms of, I don't think you're gonna be able to find the exact same ones. These are from a place called Temple Eyewear, but I don't know if they're like online or anything like that. But I know that you can find a lot of similar styles out there, but they're like the big square look, which I think are really cool. They're in like this rose gold sort of color, which I think really complicates like whatever jewelry you're wearing like if you've got some cool earrings in I feel like they can look really nice and like when you have like some nice big frames like as a person who doesn't typically enjoy wearing glasses if you at least have some really big frames big thin frames it really means that people can still see your eye makeup because sometimes wearing like chunky glasses can take away from any makeup look that you're doing which is a little bit depressing because you're like well I need my glasses to see but so you've gone to work and you like to wear your eyeliner yeah it's like you don't want it to you know be for nothing so yeah I've really been enjoying these glasses even though you know for the most part I just wear them to drive and watch TV or the long distance stuff but now that they look a little bit more pretty I'm more motivated to wear them they're like a piece of jewelry an accessory and then the last thing that I'm going to mention I don't have it here with me is that I got some bulk magnesium salts from nourished life so if you're someone that deals with back pain muscle aches stress all of those wonderful things i've been having some back problems if you're one of those people you need magnesium salts you can go on to nourish life that's where i found them so they sell like in bulk like these mega tubs of magnesium i'm gonna say chloride obviously like there's different type of epsom salts i think they're chloride yeah you have to use like quite a lot in a bath mm, to get like a therapeutic yeah level of which is why you like... want to go ahead and buy them in bulk because it's going to be cheaper in the long term and getting like those like a lot of them sell them in these tiny little bags and I don't think people often realize that you have to use, you have the, to use the entire bag in one bath for it to be of any benefit so get them in bulk buy them cheaper yeah so I've been trying to get back into the magnesium baths a little bit more regularly the fact that Gabe's left his little toy here in our pile <laughs> makes me like what's this <laughs> um, my next, next favorite, favorite is this little yellow cup <laughs> that's actually all our favorites yeah so that wraps up our month of March. If you guys enjoy seeing favorites type videos, be sure to give this one a big thumbs up because it lets us know. If you like them, we'll try and make them every month. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Follow us on Instagram. We are cultivate underscore beauty and otherwise we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.